Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to make another text effect. This one is also a request and it's how to have a blur moving across a text. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make a title clip. So I'm going to write um, solid inspiration on this one. Uh, I'm going to actually ah, move the letter spacing a bit so it's wider. I chose this font here, go handbook, you can take whatever you want. And then you're going to want to add a black background. Um, so Alt R is going to make a rectangle. Mine is already black, but you can change the color here and then send it to the bottom. This will make it so that your blur is nice and beautiful. You can try it without it's ugly. So then I'm going to take my um, text and put it here. If you have a background, put it on whatever background you want. I made a color clip so that you can see the difference between the black and the background. So you're going to want to add a composite and transform effect between the two clips. This allows you to both move your clip and uh, remove the ugly black rectangle that we, make, we made. So then, as I said, you're going to add some blur. So you add some blur onto your clip, and now you can't even see it. You want less blur. <laughs> Uh, so for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to lesser the amount of blur with time. So it's going to start at around 550 and at the end, uh, which is not going to be the actual end, we'll make maybe the end a few frames before so that it's fixed at the end. Um, I'm going to make it to around 350. Okay. Second thing I'm going to add is a rotoscoping effect. And I'm going to make a rectangle that will move across the screen. So I'm going to first make my rectangle maybe this big, something like this. Um, remove this frame here, go back to the first frame. And it's going to move to, well, to the last frame actually. It's going to be at the very end and actually even after my clip. And for the very beginning, I'm going to also move it to before my clip, because when I add the feather, the feathering, um, you, like if I feather it a lot, lot, maybe, well, I'm quite far, but like, you're gonna start to see it, um, and you don't want this. So I'm gonna put the feathering to around 130 for the this one and 5 for this one. Uh, of course you can experiment with it, you know, but yeah. So right now it's going to look like this. Okay, I don't know why it's so slow, but you know, but I would like it for, I would like for it to still be here on the left. Uh, you know, like I want to actually see the full clip at the end. So I'm going to add my clip once more. Add another composition transform between the two um, tracks, also with screen, and now, well, you can't even notice the other one. So here again, I'm going to add some blur, and this blur is going to go lower with time. So at the beginning, it's going to be around 100, and at the end, which is, I guess, around here, it's going to be around 30. Okay, once more, we're going to add some rotoscoping. And here we're going to have a rectangle that just grows and that doesn't move. Okay, so right now we can't even see the other one. Um, I can remove it from here, go back to the first frame. And I will, well, actually, I can go back to the end. At the last frame here, I want it to be fully open and be able to read the whole text. Uh, 
one thing though is I might want the the beginning to start a bit after my other text, so I might add a frame here and move this back. Once more, I'm gonna add some feathering. So here I'm gonna add around um, 100 here and three for the feathering passes. If you haven't noticed, it's always like quite close to two because I'm, I'm not really sure how it works, but it it does do different things, you know. But yeah. Um, let's look at what we have. Okay, it's super slow. I think I might need to pre-render. Okay, so pre-rendering is done. Let's look at what we have. It's not bad. I actually kind of like it. One thing though, at the beginning, you can really see the difference between the two colors. I'm gonna change the compositing a little bit. Um, before it's even finished, I'm, well, I'm gonna want the full opacity, but at the very beginning, I want it to be zero. Let's try again. Uh, I guess I'll pre-render it. <laughs> well, actually, before pre-rendering, I also want the full text to move a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna use the first composite on the front for that, because everything that's composited to this track then is gonna move with it. And so at the very beginning, I want normal. At the end, I want maybe 105% uh, in size. And then I want smooth keyframes. And I'm gonna pre-render that. Okay, it is done. Let's look at what we have. Um, actually, I just realized the beginning is quite noticeable already, so I might move the rotoscoping a little bit. So let's look at this, and I'm pretty sure we're finished, so I hope it's good. Yes. It's perfect. Uh, I'm really happy with it, so yeah. It's kind of, so like it kind of looks like the blur is going across, even though it really isn't. It could be great, but I'm not sure how to do that. I've tried to find a way, but I couldn't. Anyway, I hope you liked it. As always, there's the form for the request in the description. Leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. More coming. Bye-bye.